It's sometimes called the Franciscan Cross. It was the sign with which the Poverello of Assisi signed his letters and blessed those he met. Today, it's often worn as a fashion statement, and its deeper meaning <laughs> remains relatively unknown, not to say ignored. So what is the Tao really? This cross, in the shape of a capital T, has ancient origins. Tau, or Ta, is the name of the last letter of the Hebrew alphabet. It represents the fulfillment of God's word and is a symbol of salvation. In Christian translations of the Hebrew scriptures, the Old Testament, the Tau became represented by the Greek letter Tau, T. In this way, early on, the Tau became a symbol adopted by Christians. But it's found depicted even in the catacombs of Rome. They considered it a prophecy of the last day like the Greek letter, Omega. The shape of the Greek letter looked to them like the cross on which Christ gave his life for the salvation of the world. The Tao, therefore, also became a sign of redemption and an external sign of the Christian faith. St. Francis of Assisi loved this symbol because of its great similarity to the cross. As the story goes, Francis heard a homily by Pope Innocent III during the Fourth Lateran Council on the Tao. And on his desire to walk through the streets, marking everyone with this symbol of salvation. Francis was deeply moved by this message and felt called to make it his own. He began to make a Tau mark on the forehead of those who came to him. He drew it on the walls of the cells of his friars and used it to sign his letters. The Tau thus became his distinctive symbol. And today it's a symbol of Franciscan spirituality based on humility and poverty. The Tao is usually made of wood, an inexpensive material that is easily worked. As every Christian should be. Ready to do God's will and let themselves be shaped by His Word. It's important to remember that the Tao is not a magical amulet, a good luck charm, or a fashion statement. It is a concrete sign of the faith and commitment of Christians to living as followers of Christ, he who was poor and crucified. <laughs>